Devin, to, to grab this moment at the close of our global fellowship to speak briefly about where present tense is right now and where it's going. However, in the Jewish tradition, um, before you talk about where you are and where you're going, you always kind of take a step back and talk about where you came from. And so we're going to take you back briefly to 2007 and talk a little bit about where we were then. Ariel. Well, it's, it's just amazing to see people who were with us in the room in 2007 and now seeing w where we've come. In 2007, we put this map up on the, on the uh, projector and we thought to ourselves, wouldn't it be amazing if we were able to create a worldwide network of Jewish doers? Individuals who understand that the Jewish people's role is to serve a purpose, to transform the world and make it a better world to live in. A network that stretched from Bombay to New York, from Singapore to Jerusalem. And over the past few years, we've worked diligently at that. We've worked together with individuals who have been writers and editors and contributors to our magazine, managed by Deborah Fishman, our managing editor who's with us tonight. We've worked with individuals over the summers, 16 at a time, to launch ventures. And we've worked with thousands of volunteers who've contributed their time, their expertise, their wisdom. But we were only getting started over those past few years. The present tense grew up. If in 2007 and 2009 we were, we were operating on a number of different fronts trying to understand what's the value that we offer to our community, to Israel, to the world, um, in 2010 we figured out what our core product is. We understood that Present Tense's mission, what Present Tense can do in this world, is to work with our communities and our cities here in Israel, our communities abroad, to transform them into hubs, into platforms for producing good for the world. For taking people with great ideas and helping them launch those ventures um, into the uh, into the world to become real. Now, we understood this last year, and we looked around and we said, "Where's a community that we can work with, that we can partner with, to try and build a present tense fellowship program that's not just six weeks over the summer, but rather operates all year long and mobilizes a whole community to invest in social good?" And the uh, Boston Federation, the CJP, stood up and said, "Hey, we'll try it out." And so we worked all last year with them to pilot this program, and it went great. It was wonderful. It really brought value to Boston. Great projects are coming out of Boston. It mobilized the community around social good, aimed at the Jewish community, aimed outside the Jewish community. And then something amazing happened. Several other communities, led by, in, in the states, their federations, here in Israel, by, by partnering organizations, said, they raised their hand, they said, hey, we want to do it too. And tonight in the room, we have some very special people. We have six coordinators, individuals, who next year will be bringing the Present Tense Fellowship to their communities. To serve communities. Because in the end, it's about working with those people who are in the field who know what their community needs to unlock their potential. We're working to build a world-class staff and to provide a technology backbone that enables knowledge management so that the thousands of volunteers who are working together to launch new ventures, to innovate new solutions to problems that face our communities, can communicate with one another. But frankly, in the end, it's really up to you. Because you're the community that makes it happen. Next year, we're in six cities. The year after that, we're already looking at six more. But after that, the Jewish people are going to have to decide in what way they would like to go. Whether they can develop new solutions to the challenges facing us in this present day. Whether we can work together to unlock our potential. Whether we know what we need in order to fix this world. And what a better way to learn what a community can do what entrepreneurs, together with community members, with their wisdom, with their expertise, can do over six short weeks than to see what happened this past summer.